All right, this is gonna be a super quick tip, but I'm really excited about this new feature. Microsoft has finally made it simpler for you to have external presenters in a live event. With this checkbox, you don't even have to make a person a guest in your tenant, which will save quite a few steps in your process. Say I've got a live event coming up and I'm creating the event in my team's calendar, just like you were already familiar with. You click the little arrow next to new meeting and you click live event. Now we'll give my event a name. You can give it a description, set your time and date, all that cool stuff. Now here's where things get a lot easier. If you're going to have a presenter in your live event who is not part of your company, just turn on this switch right here for allow external presenters. Then you can just enter their email address and you're good to go. They don't need any kind of Microsoft account at all anymore. So we'll just go ahead, we'll click next and we'll hit schedule to send this invitation off. Okay, fast forward to the day of the event. You're gonna go in as a producer as you always have been. You're gonna click join this event. Now we're in the event as a producer, we're just waiting for our external presenter to come in. So that external person, they're gonna get a normal calendar invite here for the event. Um, when the time comes, they'll just click join live event as if they were joining a normal meeting. So they'll click join and they're brought into the, um, the pre-join landing page. Now here's the one gotcha that's left. The presenter does need to download and install the Microsoft Teams app on their device. Hopefully that's gonna change in the future, but right now they need the full Teams app on Windows, Mac, or iPad. Um, you can do iPad OS now as well, but um, the mobile apps, the web version, you can't use those, you gotta use the full app. The external presenter is gonna see this pre-join screen just like a normal meeting. You'll see up here at the top, it says join as a presenter, and um, this one, Alex, he has an Office 365 account, so it has his picture, his name, it knows who he is. But if they weren't even logged into the Teams app, they could still join as a presenter. They'll just enter their name in the middle right here, and then they'll click Join Now. So I've joined this meeting now as Alex, an external presenter, and I get this banner at the top that says, you are not part of the event group. So Alex won't be able to unmute, share content, or facilitate until the producer does something on their end. So over on the producer side, I see that an external person has joined the meeting. So I've let them in. If we had a lobby, I would let them in through the lobby. And um, for the safety of the live event, the presenter is listed in a separate area of participants called external presenters. Even though Alex is in the meeting, I still need to promote him to a presenter. I can do that by right clicking on his name and clicking make a presenter or from the content picker down here at the bottom, I can mouse over his little thumbnail and click allow to present. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and hit change. So once I've made him a presenter, he's been added to the event group and now he can unmute himself, he can share his screen and do everything else that he needs to give a great presentation. So with the addition of uh, allowing external and even anonymous presenters in a live event, it makes this process a lot easier. You might remember months ago, I did a live stream on YouTube, uh, figuring out the definitive checklist to trick teams into letting you have an external presenter. This is so much nicer than not having to add a person to the team so that they show up as a guest in the tenant. All you do is check the box for external presenters and throw their email in. Well, that's it for this quick tip. I'm really excited to see all of these quality of life improvements rolling across all of the areas of Microsoft Teams. Keep an eye right here if you want to see even more tips and tricks in the future. And thanks for watching.